The school district has released forecasted enrollment numbers from 2012 through to 2017. The numbers show overall numbers are still declining. However, there are positive trends in a number of areas, including College Heights. Malaspina Elementary is one school expected to see enrollment growth over the next five years. That's according to the enrollment forecast released by School District 57. The report helps plan for the district's future. This is how we, we determine if we need new space or renovated space or, and uh, we use it for that. And finally, and probably one of, for us, the most important thing is financial planning. That we know if we have a, a, a severe decline in students that we're going to have to make financial considerations that may affect programming and may affect some schools. While numbers at Prince George Secondary are declining, an upward trend is predicted at a host of elementary schools in the region, including College Heights. It could create some pressure points in the area. Sometimes you get into a situation like we have in, at Vanway in the College Heights area and at Spruce Land School where over time you're going to see that the space will get tight so you need to do certain things to accommodate the people. With pressure in some of the elementary schools, the District Parent Advisory Council says having access to these numbers is important for parent planning. Since we had a number of elementary schools closed, the elementary schools that we have remaining in some cases are very full. So if parents know that the elementary school that they want their child to get into has issues with capacity, is going to be capped or something like that, they can look, they can plan, they can make other decisions perhaps. The school district says the numbers also show a change in how many students are going towards French immersion. There's going to be some adjustments made in the French immersion programming. The popularity of Lac de Bois, continued popularity of the French immersion program at Heather Park and at College Heights and those numbers moving into Duchess Park. DPAC Chair Sarah Holland says more information on how the numbers are gathered would be useful. I think there's a couple of improvements that can still be made, you know, definitions, formulas, putting in the report how they're generated. I think it's wonderful that the board and the district is sharing this information. While some areas are starting to feel the pinch, the overall number of students is showing a downward trend. Three years from now, there will be roughly 250 less students. But the school district believes these numbers will begin to rise by 2017. Aileen Machel, CKPG News.